Today I'm going to build the wheel assembly for the JPL Emerson rover. But before I build the six base wheels and the four corner wheels, I'm going to have to do some fabrication on the wheel and the collar clamp. So, the bolt tends to slip on the wheel because the rover has a lot of torque. That's why I need to drill two holes on either side of the original hole to make sure that the wheel has a lot of traction. Now for the collar clamp, I'm going to have to drill, cut a hole further down and to make sure it'll fit on the motor shaft. So once I got that connected to the motor shaft, I'm going to attach it onto the actual wheel. Now let's get started. Now I'm going to do the wheel fabrication. So I start by taking a jig that I 3D printed in, which is supposed to help me make sure that the holes are in the right place. I'm going to place it in the middle of the wheel. And then I'm going to take a nail and put it on one of the holes. And I'm going to take a hammer and hammer that in. Then I'm going to take the nail out and put it on the other hole and do the same thing. Once I got that done, I'm going to take that out and put the nail away and the jig and then I'm going to start drilling. I'm going to wear glasses just to be safe and you should too. So I'm going to take a 5 slash 64 inch drill bit. I'm going to put it inside and lock it so it won't fly away. And then I'm going to start drilling. Now, I'm going to take the 5 slash 64 inch drill bit out. And I'm going to replace it with a 3 slash 32 inch drill bit. I finally finished the wheel fabrication. Now you can see there are two clean cut holes on either side of the original hole. Now I'm going to work on cutting the collar clamp. I've, tr I've cut the car clamp deep enough so that it will be able to connect to the motor shaft.
I finally finished fabrication for the wheel and the clamping hub. Now I'm going to put my supplies away. So I'm going to put my drill away and my drill bits away because I don't need any to do any more fabrication. Now I'm also going to put my glasses away too. Now I'm going to check all my parts. Hmm? What just happened? <laughs> so, I've got th some three inch channels. I got it. I've got some, a face tap clamping hub. Got that. A four side face tap clamping hub. And I've got it. And I've got the wheels. Yeah, got it. And I've got W, like a W motor. Got it. I have a button head screw. Got it. I have a Allen key set. Got it. I've got a five slash sixteen inch wrench. Got it. Now let's begin assembly. It says motor mount. Start by attaching the motor E5 into the third inch channel S2 using clamping mount S25 and screws B1 as shown in figure 3. Make sure to slide the motor all the way up to the top gearbox in the clamping hub exactly as shown in figure 3. So it says it wants us to attach this clamping hub right here to the middle and I'm going to tighten it first before I put it inside the three inch channel right here. Now I'm going to put it inside. Now I'm going to work on the clamping hub. It says, clamping hub attachment. Next, take the modified four millimeter clamping hub, S14A, and clamp it around the motor shaft as shown. We recommend applying Loxite two-part epoxy 336 between the motor shaft and the clamping hub at their interface. So, it wants us to put this car clamp right here in the motor shaft. So it fits perfectly there. Then I'm going to secure it using this. Here. Got it. Now it's secure. 
it says attaching the wheel. Attach the wheels S thirty A to the clamping hub using two two screws B seven through the holes you drilled earlier. So it wants us to take two of these screws, put it one here. I might need to use one of these to help me screw in the screw because it's very hard to. So now I'm gonna put it on here. Make sure, I'm gonna make sure that this, the hole aligns up. I'm gonna take this and screw it in. I finally finished my last wheel. So, after the first couple wheels, it was got it got pretty quick after that. Now I'm going to work on the four corner wheels. Now I'm going to work on the four corner wheels. It says now we need to create the four corner wheels. These build on what we made for the base wheel assemblies in the last step. For the corner motors, we will need to extend the attachment point upwards as it is, important that the axis of the corner steering motors are directly above the middle of the wheels to enable smooth steering. It says, I need a 3 inch channel, I need a 4.5 inch channel, I need, to, I need a channel connector plate. I need a 0 0.25 circular clamping hub. Right here. And I need a 48 tooth plane bore gear. I've got that. And I need a and I need a screw. And I need a different screw, which is this type of screw. And then I need a threaded standoff, which is this, I believe. And I have three Allen key wrenches. Three Allen key wrenches. And we also need a 5 slash 16 wrench. Let's begin. Channel attachments. One. Attach another 3 inch channel S2 to your base wheel assembly using two channel connectors S6 as shown in figure 5. So, S2 is your base wheel assembly using two channel connectors. S6, one, two.
Now I'm going to work on a deep clamping hub attachment. It says, attach a 0.25 inch clamping hub S12 and the plain board gear S26 to the channel using screws B1. So you put this here. And this is interesting because instead of drilling, having a hole go through the gear and the clamping hub, instead you have a, a screw to go through the gear and the clamping hub and a screw on the bottom that attaches it. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what just happened? <gasps> what just happened? <laughs> I finally finished my second corner wheel. Two down, two to go. <laughs> it was a tough challenge, but I finally got the wheel assembly done. So there were six base wheels, and so I converted it into four, I had four corner wheels and two base wheels. So the base wheels are going to go in the middle of the rover, while the corner wheels are going to go on the corners of the rover. Thanks for watching. Our next video is going to be the rocker bogey. Bye.